Hey ihr Lieben, it's Jesche, yourshowbeuten.com with another video answering the question, does Jesus want us to pray for deliverance? This video is part of a whole teaching series about deliverance ministry in the Bible. You can watch the other videos in the cart that is shown up here right now. We're answering in this video, does Jesus want us to pray for deliverance? Now in the first video, this is actually the second video. In the first video, we looked at Luke 418 and we mentioned Matthew 28 and we mentioned Mark 16. You can look it up for yourself. These are, in my opinion, clear commands where God commands us to do the full gospel will not just preach the good news of salvation, but the good news of healing and deliverance and restoration. Now in this video, I want to answer this question, does Jesus want us to pray for deliverance in a little bit of a different angle? Well, for that, we're going to Matthew 15. Now this is the story where Jesus is meeting the Gentile woman that is asking Jesus for mercy. Now let's read the story and then we're going to point out just a few things, little things that I want you to see here. All right, let's read chapter 15 verses 21 to 28. And Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. And that word you can also say demonized. But he answered her not a word. Just imagine this. Jesus is not even answering her. He's not even regarding her or giving her any reaction. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he's basically saying, saying, I'm not sent to the Gentiles, I'm sent to the people of God for now. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. That's, that's, that's powerful. But he answered and said, it is not good to take the children's bread, children's of God's bread, and throw it to the little dogs. What's he talking about? What I find interesting here is that he uses bread, the children's bread, the children's provision, the children's food, the bread, as a symbol for healing, deliverance, and salvation maybe even, or just a touch of God, right? And he says, this is not to be thrown to the little dogs. And then she said, yes, Lord, even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. Not as you need, but as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Now, just a little note here. We can see that even though the girl is demonized, God is healing her. You can see that casting out of demons and healing works together, sometimes interchangeable. You can see this in the Bible where it says they brought the sick and the demon possessed and the oppressed and so on and so forth to him. And he healed them all. Now, here's a similar situation. Demon possessed girl, he healed her. Now let's go back to the bread and just keep that in mind that Jesus here is taking this as a symbol for healing deliverance and a move a touch of God, okay? Let's go to Matthew 6 and look at the Lord's Prayer, okay? Let's connect that with our daily bread, right? Verse 9, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Verse 11, give us this day our daily bread. Now, yes, I can already hear people say, well, yeah, but that this, this means Jesus. Jesus is the bread of life. He is the word. We're supposed to have our daily bread in the word. And yeah, that is true. I believe we should spend time daily in the word as, you know, renewal of our mind. Jesus is the word. I get it. But hey, just pause there for just a second. You know, if you say Jesus is the word and he is the bread of life and this is actually meaning jesus if you say this this bread is jesus do you know that you actually are saying this means deliverance and healing because the word jesus the name jesus the name yeshua the name yesha or rather the verb yesha and the verb soteria which is salvation the greek word for salvation and yehoshua the name and the name joshua which are all one root they all basically come from one thing they all have one meaning healing deliverance salvation restoration provision it's the full gospel so if you say yes this bread means jesus then you're actually saying yes it means the full gospel <laughs> and jesus is telling us here hey ask daily ask daily ask when you pray pray for healing deliverance salvation obviously for for a touch of god for the thing that really feeds you ask for that daily. Now let's go on in the prayer. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, which there is a huge deliverance 
potential already if you just forgive and release others. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. But wash us from the evil one by the blood? No. But uh, sanctify us or make us holy through your Holy Spirit and free us from the evil one? No. Deliver us from the evil one. So does Jesus want us to pray for deliverance? Well, he says right here, if you pray, when you pray, then pray this way. Our Father in heaven, give us today our daily bread. Deliver us from the evil one. My answer would be yes. <laughs> I just want to encourage you to ask God for deliverance, to pray for deliverance for yourself and then also pray for deliverance for others. And again, when I say deliverance, I also mean healing. I mean a touch of God. I mean just a breakthrough from God, fire of the Holy Spirit, the whole shebang, okay? Pray for that. Is that a bad thing? No. God commands us in Matthew 28 to basically teach everything that he taught us, which is doing deliverance, casting out demons, healing people. Yes, leading them to God and Jesus and get them saved, of course. Um, in Mark 16, 15 to 20, it includes as a sign that someone believes they will cast out demons, they will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. John 20, 21, Jesus is saying, as I was sent by the Father, I'm going to send you. How was Jesus sent? What was his mission? Luke 4, 18 says that the Spirit of the Lord is upon him to preach the gospel to the poor, to preach deliverance, to bring healing, physically and emotional healing. You can look that up in the scripture, just look it up. And then to set the captives free, which is deliverance. So the demon nice and the demon oppressed, okay? So I want to encourage you to pray for deliverance. Get your daily bread. Get Jesus's happy meal. A meal that truly makes you happy where all bitterness and oppression and depression and everything that pulls you down, everything that was sent to kill, steal and destroy God's call on your life, cast that out. Break yourself off of those things and come into God's freedom and God's joy. Receive Jesus's happy meal. If you want to learn more about healing and deliverance and deliverance ministry in the Bible, you can click the video here or here, or just subscribe to this channel and you will learn more straight from the Bible with teachings and prayers for deliverance. So I'm going to see you right there and always remember, keep your eyes on the prize.